Hey, hey, welcome everyone to this week's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host, Kristen Osrander, and today, a couple of questions. Do you struggle to know what to do in your business every single day? Are you overwhelmed or unorganized or both like me? Oh boy, Um, this episode is just a practical way of how I deal with my own personal unorganization and overwhelm because I'm an idea factory. I'm always coming up with all these crazy ideas, big ideas. I dream huge in case you guys didn't know that. (laughs) I do. And then there's got to be a way to harness all that, right? You can't do all the things all the time or can you? (laughs) If anybody has tried, it has certainly been me, but the reality is we need a way to be able to deal with this overwhelm and all the different tasks that come both business and personal and life and all the different things. How do we organize and do all these things? See, okay, first of all, oh yeah, I wanted to remind you, there are some people, listeners that have been trying to join the Facebook group, but they're like, I have not received a code word. I don't know what you're talking about with these code words. Guys, I know the last several, many episodes, I have been forgetting to give away the Facebook code word and you can't get into the Facebook group, the Amazon Files by Mommy Income Facebook group. Go to mommyincome.com slash join us and use the code word today is focus. So hashtag focus to get in the Facebook group. Sorry, I haven't been giving away code words the last few episodes, but there's your code word to join the Facebook group. So now you don't have any excuses. It's at the top of the episode. So you didn't miss it at the end, anything like that. So mommyincome.com slash join us, join the Facebook group. It's where you can come get answers to your questions. Ask people that have been on this journey with you, um, different things, join, uh, join a community of people who understand what you're going through and how you're going through it. So mommyincome.com slash join us. So here's my confessions back to an organization, not lack of planning, these types of things. I'm pretty unorganized or so I think, you know, some people peep in and they're like, oh, you are pretty organized. Well, it's, I guess a little bit of organized chaos. I'm not a real big plan ahead person. I have to plan some things, obviously um, a little bit ahead of time, but I'm what you call a last minute Lucy. Um, That's just a phrase we've used at our house for a long time for, you know, Lord knows how long I think I got it from my mom, but last minute Lucy is just like, um, I have a sign in my office that says, don't rush me. I'm waiting till the last minute. Um, I work really good under pressure, but I also realize that some things cannot be waiting until the last minute. Some things we cannot, we simply cannot wait. We have to plan ahead. We have to be prepared. And it's one of the things that I've always struggled with because I'll just figure it out as I go along. I'll just work through it. I'll, you know, kind of figure that out. And I've been caught more than once going, oh, I didn't anticipate this or that. And we really, I'm not preaching at you about being super organized or super planner. Uh, what I'm, what I'm going to show you is how I've managed my own self when it comes to these crazy things. When it comes to running businesses, there seems to be these endless to-do lists, these endless tasks. How do you get it all done? Or do you, or is this a myth? Does anyone ever really get it all done? The reality is probably not because there's always something. There's never something that's just everything is done. By the time you, it's like laundry, right? It's like the moment that all the laundry is done and folded and put away and hung up. Does that even ever happen in your house? (laughs) It's not happen here. Just, just, just saying just truth moment, but like laundry, even if you finish all of it and put everything away and it lands in the proper spot. The moment that you get undressed that day, the laundry starts over. It really is never done. And that's kind of what we do in our business. So instead of being discouraged by that, which when I say that out loud, I'm like, oh, I'm not sure I want to continue doing this. This is crazy, right? But how do you get most of it done? How do you get it done and feel good about it and feel like your business is moving forward? And the reality is, especially if you guys have kids or if, you ha- if you're doing a side hustle and you're working a nine to five, if you have a family, if you have all these things, even if you don't, we're all just busy people. Because 
all kinds of stuff that we're supposed to be doing, that we need to be doing, that we ought to be doing, that we should be doing. You know, that's a whole different podcast episode about the should, don't you should me and should all over me, should, should. Like that's that's a personal choice, really. Don't ever let somebody tell you what you should and shouldn't be doing if it's not in alignment with your goals. But here's what I'm just gonna lay it out there. I get stuff done with 15 minute hustles, period. Now, I know that that seems crazy. Like, no, you do not run two seven-figure businesses with a 15-minute hustle. There's no way you do that. Well, yes, I do. I do it in a way. So what is the 15-minute hustle? For you guys, that are, if you're new here, or if you haven't heard this, or if you haven't listened to many episodes in the past, or even if you have, here's a refresher course <laughs> on the 15-minute hustle. The 15-minute hustle started for me when... I started my first business, which at the time I didn't realize was really a business. I was just selling baby clothes on eBay, um, just basically to buy the next size up. So when my daughter was born, 2003, oh my word, that's a long time ago, uh, I had a really wild and rambunctious two and a half year old boy. He was so adorable and full of life and full of energy. And y'all, he could talk before like talking was like allowed, he could converse with you at two years old, literally sentences. He was saying Bible verses, like fully, like, uh, you know, before most kids could even speak a sentence. Like he just was very, a strong verbal communicator. He walked at eight and a half, nine months. It was really creepy because it was this tiny little child walking underneath tables and stuff. It's like, oh, he shouldn't be walking yet. He was so just busy and full of energy. And that also can create some challenges. You know, this is the same kid who found spray paint and spray painted our car. This is the same kid who, um, with a little friend of his at about four years old, um, decided to throw a rock through a basement window just because they had never really broken glass before and wanted to, to experience that. This is the same wonderful, amazing ball of energy who broke all the eggs on the floor from the fridge just because it was fun to watch them be smashed. So um, think of like Incredible Hulk, Hulk smash. Like he never got mad. He just loved to like, he was all boy, you know, loved to break stuff and hit stuff and see what would happen if something was inside. He took apart the VCR because he wanted to see what was inside. That's the kind of kid we're talking about. So I'm trying to have that. And I had a newborn baby when he was this wonderful wild age. And I was trying to run a business at home too and do all the domestic tasks. And so I realized with this wonderful um, children, the children that I had, that I had about 15 minutes before and the baby was crying, needed to be fed, someone needed to be changed, some mess needed to be cleaned up or destruction needed to be averted. I had about 15 minutes, probably less, to do any task before my attentions were drawn to necessary, other necessary things. Hence the 15 minute hustle was born. So that's where I got the 15 minute hustle. You can learn more about the 15 minute hustle at 15 minute hustle.com. That's where you get the full ebook to be able to dive into what I'm talking about today. But I'm going to give you a brief overview of the 15 minute hustle. And the reason I created it was because I started to sell on eBay. I started to sell online to make a little bit of money because I was working. I was, you know, had two kids at home, but needed some income. So as I was doing that, I realized that I didn't have a ton of time and I needed to just be really, really focused on what I was doing when I was doing it because I only had this small snapshot of time. So the 15 minute hustle goes like this. These are some three point, three and four points that you need to, to know about 15 minute hustle so that you can execute it too. Because let me tell you, this is my truth. I was able to build my businesses with this strategy. Everyone's like, oh, how do you do it? How do you do it? 15 minutes at a time, small steps. Because why? Because you know that the human brain is like wired for victory, for wins, for desiring a positive outcome, okay? And so when we get more of a positive outcome by accomplishing something, even something small, we want more of that. We believe more is possible when we start accomplishing even small goals. Our brain's like, oh, well, if I can do that, I can do the next thing. If I can do this, I can do the next thing. So I kind of became addicted to that and realized that in 15 minute hustles, I could actually run a business. 
from home and try to keep the laundry done and try to keep the messes from being made and the eggs broken on the floor and the windows being broken. I could do this in small chunks because that's really all I had to work with, but it was either that or nothing. And so nothing wasn't going to be a choice for me. So what does a 15 minute hustle looks like? It's building your business intentionally in small steps, small incremental steps. So it first starts with what do you want? What is your goal? What do you want to accomplish? And we've got to be specific. Now, this isn't goal setting. So I'm not going to go through like the 10 steps of goal setting today. Um, although that'd be a great episode to really talk about how you set your goals realistically and get there. Um, I like to use it in a perfect world. What is my in a perfect world? You can read about this in Dream Big Step Small, my book. Um, but this is a brief overview. First of all, in order to, to, to rock your 15 minute hustle and really move your business forward 15 minutes at a time. And I mean, scaling guys, scaling. It happens. It happens small, but it happens consistently. So first of all, you have to know where you want to go. What is your in a perfect world? In a perfect world is where you sit down and you have your fantasy land, your dream, your, it's like your, your lottery dream business. Like if you could just buy all the things, have all the things, what would you be doing? Where would you be working? Your dream goals. What is it? Why do you have a business to begin with? Why are you doing this? What's your in a perfect world scenario. If you want to know more about the in a perfect world scenario, go back and listen to, um, gosh, I don't know what episode number it is. Um, you know, search in the search box for this podcast episode in a perfect world, IAPW, something like that. You'll find the in-depth explanation of in, of in a perfect world. So you're going to have to go back and listen to that episode, but, um, the in a perfect world is basically building the dream business that you want mentally writing it down, figuring out what that would look like, and then taking the next small step to get there. Cause y'all, it doesn't happen overnight. You're not going to go from, you know, working at your kitchen table to a, you know, penthouse office or corner office and, you know, building five of, you know, floor 100, um, overnight. It happens in small 15 minute hustles. Promise you that. But what is that dream for you? You have to know where you want to go to start taking steps to get there. Okay, so know what you want. What do you, what is it? What would be your end game? Is your end game to build a business that's sellable, a sellable asset? Is your goal end game to build a business where you can pass on to your children or you can hire out or you can sell? What is it that you really want out of this? What's the reason that you started? What is your goal? Where are, what are you working toward? Because this is hard stuff that we're doing every day, day in, day out with no boss, self-directing, self-leading ourselves to our goals. There's no one standing behind you telling you have to do that. There's no one standing behind you telling you that your goals are worth it. Well, except me, <laughs> I'm going to tell you that every single time you are worth it. Your goals are worth it. Your dreams are worth it, but there's days it's going to get hard. So knowing what you want and why you want it is the cornerstone by which you build your foundation. You have to have that reason. And you know what? That reason can change. So don't beat yourself up about it. If your original reason was to quit your nine to five and you realize that just isn't what you want anymore. Maybe it is just a little side hustle so you can make a little extra jingle because you might like the security of your job. There's no shame in that. Own it. Own whatever it is you want to own. <laughs> I want to own a beach house, just saying. <laughs> but whatever you're is own that for yourself, but then work for it. So even if those, those in a perfect world ideas or your cornerstone of why you're doing what you're doing changes, that's okay. But know what it is. If someone walked up to you tomorrow, and I just might, if I see you on the street, be like, so why do you do what you do? <laughs> you should have an answer for that. And it's not some philosophical deep thing. It could straight up be because I want more than I've got or I want to leave a legacy for my children, or I want to retire in luxury. <laughs> Whatever it is, doesn't matter. No judgments here of your why, but have it and know it and own it because no one else is going to do that for you. Everyone else has a different why and they're working for their own. So what is yours? Be ready to answer that for yourself. Be ready to 
give yourself that pep talk when things get hard, when Amazon doesn't approve your GT, GTI and exemption, or your, your listing got shut down because you used some word that has to do with pesticides that you didn't even know was in there. And now your listing is closed and now they won't reopen it. On days like that, your reason for doing what you're doing still stands. So are you gonna keep going in the direction of your goals and your dreams and your in a perfect world business? Or are you gonna throw in the towel because things got hard? So your why, knowing what you want and your goals are super important for your stability, for your moving forward in your business. So that's the first one is knowing what you want and knowing what you're working towards, your goal, your in a perfect world. The second thing to start scaling your business in 15 minutes a day is to make a master list based on your in a perfect world and your goals. And I mean a master list from the window to the wall, you guys, everything from the smallest little thing to the biggest thing to, um, you know, someday needing a financial manager because your business was so big that you needed to bring in some help all the way from that to what am I going to name my bundle brand before I get my trademark to I'm going to open my business account because I don't have one yet. All the things, big and small, everything you can think of. This is like the brain dump of your master list. And then you can start organizing that list. So first it's building that list, both business and personal, domestic and outsourced, whatever it is that you need to do to get to that goal. And you know what? You're not going to know all the things right now. So keep some open space on this master list because you're going to have to add to it. So what does it take to run your Amazon business? I will tell you this. There is a, I know there's going to be a lot of like links today. So just pay attention, write them down later. Go to the show notes after this episode, if you're driving or walking the dog or whatever. Um, I always say walking the dog. Like I think of Wendy, Wendy's our, our podcast listener that I, I got to meet uh, not too long ago. And she's always like, I listen to you every morning while walking. I don't know if she walks the dog or what, but she, I just think of that. So every time I'm thinking of that, Wendy, I'm thinking of you and how you're walking and listening. So some people can't write this stuff down right now. So make sure that you bookmark this or um, something to be able to write some of these links down. Okay. So mommyincome.com slash task list. So I'm helping you here, at least with your Amazon FBA business. I have a task list that I have prepared. It's not fully complete because everybody does different tasks different ways, but it's mostly complete of like all the things that you pretty much need to do in your business to run your business. I'm sure I've missed a few steps. You can add to it as well as, well as you want to, but this list is to help you guide you to your, in a, to your in a perfect world, to your Amazon FBA business of task list. So I kind of gave you a head start of your Amazon FBA business. And it's, it's categorized. It's free. You can just go download it. Mommyincome.com slash task list. And this will help you stay organized in your business. So I've already done a little bit of the hard work for you and made some, a master list of this. You can add to it as your own duties come up or whatever you do in your business, whether you outsource or do everything yourself. Maybe you have a warehouse. I don't have a warehouse like personally. So um, we use a prep center, but if you do, this list will help you. Um, to at least get you started on your 15 minute hustle, to start you on organizing what you do each day, week, month, year, quarter, whatever it is. Make the list, big things, small things, fill in the gaps. I'll give you a head start list, fill in the gaps when it comes to these things. So now you've got your list, you know where you want to go, you know what your big goal is, or at least where you're trying to get to, you're in a perfect world. Now you've got this master list. Now, what do you do with it? How do you execute this 15 minute hustle to help you move your business forward 15 minutes at a time? And I'm going to give you some examples in a few minutes. So first, once you have this list, you need to prioritize your list. So a list is just great, but you don't just randomly check these things off because they need to be in some sort of order. And I'm going to tell you how to start the list and then you can flow down from there. Start your list with prioritizing money-making tasks first. Tasks that directly relate to your bottom line, ordering product, creating listings, sending in inventory. Y'all, if you are retail arbitrage folks and you go shopping on a Thursday and then your stuff sits there for a week because you just haven't had time to make a shipment, you are losing money by the day. 
if you're going to go shopping for your inventory, ship it out. The, if it sits on the floor or in the garage or in your car or wherever it is that it's sitting while you're not shipping it, it's not making you a dollar. It's just taking up space and costing you money. So send it in. Checking listings for errors. If your listings aren't available for sale on Amazon because there are listing errors or people can't find your listing, that means you can't make money. That is a money-making task. Check your listings, make sure that they're active, make sure that they are um, up to date, that the pictures are showing up, the bullet points are there. All of a sudden people see this when their sales start to go down. Make a rhythm, make a time where every single week or month or at least somebody, even you, this is something that you can literally outsource to a VA. Say, I want you to weekly go through every single one of my ASINs and make sure the images, the bullet points, the description, everything is accurate and there. Not necessarily accurate because Amazon will notify you if something changes, but make sure that it didn't accidentally disappear because that has been happening to people left and right. Oh, I lost a bunch of sales. And then I realized when I went to my description, it was all gone. It just was an image with no description. Well, no one's going to buy that. They don't know what you're selling. They only see a picture. So making sure that you're checking your listings to make sure everything's showing up. This is something you can outsource to a VA weekly that doesn't have to cost you a ton of money. And you can seriously do that without even doing it. anything that costs you money if it doesn't get done, like removing dead inventory from Amazon, things that just aren't selling that you've tried and tried and tried to get to move. Maybe it's time to break up with your inventory. Get rid of it, sell it, recall it, and, and bundle it. Do something, rebundle it. We had someone in the um, Amazon Files um, hub membership group, Laura, who pulled something back, disassembled the bundle, reassembled it, sent it back in, sold immediately, and she's still selling them. Repurposing your bundles because maybe, like me, maybe like some of the rest of you, you've made a bundle that maybe just didn't do so good, even though the research was there, or maybe her first or second bundle just didn't do as well as you hoped it would. And so because of that, you have to go back and redo stuff. Those are money, those cost you money. So when things cost you money, they go at the top of the list, remove dead inventory. Anything that costs you fees, you wanna pay attention to. Why? Because that's a hole in your bucket. You've got a bucket full of business and it's got money in it. And if you've got a hole in your bucket, it's dripping out and dripping out money, even if it's $5 here, $10 there, one lost inventory from Amazon here, there, cost you money. So anything that's making money or costing money is at the top of the list. Then comes the support, the, the money, the support money making tasks. So what supports those things? Researching new products, feedback, follow up, making sure you have good customer service uh, at, at any realm. Um, getting new suppliers, having new ideas, um, training, education. These things are really important. Did you guys know I'm addicted to education? Is anyone with me here? Is anyone constantly, um, not constantly, I mean, I just like regularly taking a new class, reading a new book, um, just things like that to just keep myself on the up and up about what I'm doing. Education is super important. I love how the actual education um, public education, at least, um, are, are constantly having their teachers um, re-up their, their certificates and, and just taking new classes so that they can stay on the up and up about things, new concepts, and, and just refreshing their, their brains to help teach. I think that's amazing that they have this ongoing um, development where they have to continue learning new things. I think it's amazing that that should be required. And for me, it's just something I love. I love to learn new things. So I'm always learning. So I make time for that. And I, sometimes it is 15 minute hustles, guys. Sometimes it's longer, but I give myself education time where I sit and carve out a couple hours to take a class, to learn from people who are doing things that I'm unaware of. I just, I like to, and I think it's important. So making room for that. So whatever it is that that's really how you, how you kind of execute it. It's pretty simple, right? 15 minute hustles, know your, what you want. Know what your goals are. What's your inner perfect world for your business? Your master list, having the list of what to go to when we create the 15 minute hustle, because that's what comes next, prioritizing the list. And then that is when you make your 15 minute hustle chart for the week. So I know podcast listeners, you can't see this, but those on YouTube can actually see this. This is the 15 minute hustle chart. 
this is what I use to write down my four daily goals and my end goal for the week. It's this whole chart. I, this is just a piece of paper. You could print them and throw them away. You could, whatever. I laminated mine heavy duty laminate. So, and I do have these for sale on the website. If you want to go to uh, mommyincome.com and look at the products, I do have like one that comes with all the stuff. Um, but the 15 minute hustle chart here is this my laminated wipe off board so that I can write down my goals every single week for in, in for a day. So you make your 15 minute hustle chart for the day or the week based on four things and four slots. These are the must do's. If you do nothing else, these are the things that need to get done for the day Four 15 minute hustles a day. That's one hour a day. Can you commit to that? Can you commit to one hour a day? I will even tell you one hour a day for five days. You don't have to work seven. You can if you want to, but you're like, I can hear you. I can hear some naysayers going, there's no way you can grow and scale a business in five hours a week. Yes, you can. If you're intentional, if you're consistent, and if you are ruthless about protecting that hour, your business will move forward in five hours a week. It will move forward. See, the people that have, a longer time, they, it's a, like a mental trick. It's like, oh, well, I have time to do that. I'll do it later. I'll have time to do that. I'll do it later. And honestly, doing it later, half, half the time doesn't even happen. When you have less time, you're more focused and you have to be more focused and intentional about that time. And that's why 15 minute hustle works so well. When I had two tiny children to take care of, plus a business to try to make ends meet, I didn't have a choice, y'all. I had to make some money to just su help support the family. Otherwise, I was going to have to work outside the home. Just because of our situation, it, you know, young family, we had to do what we had to do. So I had to be super intentional about the few minutes that I had. So you make your 15-minute hustle chart. You've got it. You've got your four things you must do every day. And of course, you can do more things to support that. But if you only had an hour a day, you can still move. Because guess what? Five hours a week guaranteed would be done at the end of the week if you chose to work seven Great. If you have more time on weekends or evenings, you can put more time in, but an hour a day. Y'all, we spend more time on social media and scrolling our phones than we, than we could do in 15 minute hustle. Seriously. If you're saying you don't have the time, it's because you haven't made the time. You do have the time. We all have the time. It's about what you do with it. You make time for what's important to you, period. You make time for your kids, you make time for your spouse, you make time for your dog. Why? Because that's important to you. If your business is important to you, you will make time for it even in 15 minute hustles. These are the must do items that if I do nothing else in my business, these are the things that I have to do today. And then you're free to go. I mean, will your business grow a little bit faster if you have more than an hour a day? Of course it will. If you're intentional about it, because you can have all the time in the world and waste it. can do anything in 15 minutes or less. Does that mean you're going to get everything done in a 15 minute chunk? No. But what it means is you're going to get started and getting started, especially for tasks that are harder or tasks that we hate or things that we don't understand or that are just plain difficult. And we can't figure it out. And we feel like we're running around in circles. You can do anything for 15 minutes. So imagine this for a second. It's the task, whatever task for you it is that you cannot stand doing. It's like, oh, I got to do that. I don't want to do that. That's just like, oh, maybe it's prepping for you. It was me for, for me, it was prepping. It's like, oh, I'm going to pull stickers off. You know, when I was doing retail arbitrage years ago, pulling stickers off and poly bagging and do all that. It's like, oh, I do not want to do this today. I don't want to move these boxes. I don't want to fill out these, you know, forms and put box level contents and all this stuff. I dreaded that. But in 15 minutes a day, I, I can do anything for 15 minutes just get started. Put that timer on and say, okay, I'm going to do this for 15 minutes. And when that timer goes off, I can be done or I can continue working, but it's a choice. Give yourself the, the choice. I can do anything for 15 minutes. Say it with me, y'all. <laughs> I can do anything for 15 minutes. And if you do it for 15 minutes and the timer goes off, you go, oh, I can be done now. Perfect. Then tomorrow I'll do it for 15 minutes. And by the end of the week, it'll be done there and dread it and be like, oh, I don't have time to do that for a couple hours today. I just don't. And then by Friday, you're like, oh, it, nothing got done. So by Friday, you could be done with that whole task, even at 15 minutes at a time per day, or 
you could still look at the pile and be like, oh, I meant to do that this week. I just don't have a couple hours to get it done. You have 15 minutes to get started. Do you? You can move forward in 15 minutes a day. Time is going to pass anyway. It's precious. And this it's universally limited time. 168 hours per week. Same for me, same for you, same for the president, same for Oprah, same for Beyonce, same for every single human being on this planet. We get 168 hours a week. How are you spending yours? Is it towards your goals? Towards your in a perfect world? What can you do? for 15 minutes today, something you're putting off, something that scares you, something that's hard, 15 minutes a day. To read more, 15 Minute Hustle, 15 Minute Hustle.com, you can get the full book, you can get the chart to start your 15 Minute Hustle on the website, mommyincome.com. And I have one more thing I wanna tell you. The workshop is coming up, in-person workshop. Yes, we are going back to fully in-person workshops. I cannot wait to see your wonderful, beautiful faces in person. And I'm a hugger, so be aware. If you don't want to hug, you know, put that hand out and be like, how about a handshake or even a fist bump if, you know, COVID, whatever. <laughs> um, so seriously, I want to personally invite you to come to a workshop, Wholesale Confident Wholesale Bundles Workshop. Do you want to be confident in building bundles? I want you to be, I want you to walk away with, from this workshop, supercharged with so many ideas and ready to tackle bundles because you know what's up. Mommyincome.com slash workshop. We're adding a few extra dates for 2020 coming up soon. You might want to join that wait list. There's a wait list there. If you want to come to the one in Las Vegas, it's coming up in August on August 21st, 20th, 21st, 22nd. It's kind of a three-day thing. Friday night, we do a meet and greet. Saturday, we do workshopping. Sunday, we do walkthroughs. Only 24 spots available and actually many of them are gone already. So I would love to see you there. I wanna meet you. I wanna help you be confident in running and doing bundles, period. So enter the workshop code, workshop50 at checkout to save yourself a few bucks. And I would love to meet you there, you guys. I know that y'all could be anywhere else doing any other thing right now. I don't take that for granted. Thank you for listening. Thank you for applying these principles to your lives. Let me know how that's changing you. Post comments, uh, hit me up in the DMs. I'd love to be able to chat with you and, and let me know how, how it's going for you. How's it going with your 15 minute hustles? What are you gonna do? Show me your chart. If you guys get a chart, Show me your chart. Even if you scribble it on a piece of paper, I want to see your chart. I want to see. I want to see your chart. I want to see you doing what you're doing on your chart. So hit me up there for sure. Mommyincome.com slash task list to get your task list. Mommyincome.com to get your 15 minute hustle. And don't forget to uh, join the Facebook group. Here is your code word focus. Thank you so much. We'll see you same time, same place next week on the Amazon files.